Omega-3 supplementation for dry eye is a confusing subject. There's a lot of information out there and you probably have a lot of questions. Questions like, does Omega-3 supplementation actually work? Should you recommend it? What should you recommend? Should you recommend tuna or capsules? What capsules should you recommend? What dosage should you recommend? All these questions I've answered in a concise, summarized document that goes through all the relevant literature and I'll present the findings for you here. Omega-3s are essential fatty acids. They're called essential because your body needs them, but it can't produce them. They come in two forms, long chain and short chain. The long chain form comes in the form of fish oil and it's broken down into EPA and DHA. The short chain form is in the form of ALA and is found in vegetable oil like flaxseed oil. As part of a normal diet, you would consume both omega-6 and omega-3. In a typical Western diet, you would consume a lot less omega-3 than you need. And this raises the inflammatory status of the body. We need to aim to consume 500 milligrams of omega-3 per day. For chronic dry eye patients, I recommend taking omega-3s on an ongoing basis because they're not a drug, they're a natural supplement, there are very good options for patients to keep taking. As part of the process of making omega-3s, alcohol is added to remove mercury. This converts them from their natural triglyceride form to ethyl esters. Some studies have found that re omega-3s are absorbed better by the body, and because of this, I recommend re omega-3s to my patients. You may be asking, where can I find these re omega-3s and what brands meet this criteria? Well, well, there's a list of these brands and the documents that I've provided, and you can look at it by region. So you can look at the region that you're from and find the brands that meet the criteria that I've outlined. The next question you've probably asked is, how much omega-3 should I recommend? So the ratio to remember is 2 to 1, 2 EPA to 1 DHA, and roughly 1000 milligrams of EPA to 500 milligrams of DHA. So you can look at the back of the supplement case, find the EPA, and basically you need to make sure that that number is double the amount of the DHA. If it's not, keep increasing the number of capsules until you reach that ratio. A question that you might have asked is, is there a high risk of bleeding by taking omega-3s? You might be particularly concerned about this with your patients that already have a higher risk of bleeding. You could always be cautious and not recommend it, but you should know that there is no scientific evidence that shows that you have a higher risk of bleeding by taking omega-3s.